Dee, whenever I turn up to a planning meeting, for example, as a DC, you often see the residents and the local councillors singing from the same hymn sheet, as they say. That's right. Why is, was, is there a divergence of views on this particular issue? Um, it seems that um, Charles Curtis, our Bellhurst councillor, who we just recently um, voted in, um, he's always been opposed to our tenants and the lorry park. He was well aware that um, myself and my husband and a few other residents were going to do a petition. Um, we asked for 100% support from our Labour councillors of Belhurst. Um, they did say yes, and that's the last we saw of them. We got the odd phone call, um, and we basically were directed in the wrong direction with our petition. Um, it's very, very sad that they portray as councillors that they care for the residents. And 347 residents have now been let down because of what they think should happen rather than what the residents should think should happen. But apart from all that, yeah. an unauthorised lorry park mm -hmm. is an unauthorised lorry park yeah. and Charlie has to... Def defend the law, so to speak, mm -hmm. doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I agree with that. I mean, w we must say that when the lorry park first went there, all the residents were up in arms. But we've had years and years of constantly putting in petitions trying to close um, Howard Tenants. Howard Tenants, in the end, um, started to propose um, certain things. So we had to look at this, that, you know, maybe this isn't too bad. Get the lorries off Stifford Road. We are struggling. Um, because of the, the council and the councillors fighting over the years with Howard Tenons, we have had to put up with five to eight hundred, five hundred to eight hundred lorries, day and night. Seriously. And that's from Throw It Highways, that they've actually done it. Um, we have one day respite a year, which is Christmas Day. They go all through the night, early hours, and just constantly. Howard Tenants have obviously tried to do their best for the, these residents that have signed the petition. They have read it, D, we will try and help with this but we need the support of Thorot Council and the councillors, and they haven't. So you're saying that as opposed to Howard Tennant's being a remote company behind barbed wire, they've actually come into the community and oh, said, yes. let's try and yes, very much. solve the mm -hmm. problem. Yes. I, I do know Mr Coombs, Steve Coombs, the manager over at Howard Tennant's. He actually, if anybody comes or rings up and says, look, you know, we're not happy with this, he will go and see them, and he will try and resolve whatever problem I have. We, he is trying to resolve the problem of Stifford Road, but it's been thwarted by the councillors and uh, sorry, council. Now you wanted, oh, sorry, our tenants and uh, agents wanted an entrance which was way down there, mm. um, away from Stifford That's Road. Right. But of course there are. Uh, the, the objection to that was there are plans for a sort of uh, a beauty spot or a pathway there, isn't that right? No. Anybody that has, has gone over to uh, Hangman's Wood will see it is boggy. The actual trees are dying because it's never been looked after. You know, my husband and I have actually gone round with a knife and, and tried to cut all the ivy in, away from some of the, the very old trees. They're just dying, you know, they're, they're black, they're dead. It stinks over there, it's all boggy, all, all leaves. To make a big thing, you know, so it counts to make a big thing about um, that little bit of land, it, the residents have got to come first before, you know, this is an, <clears throat> they're going on ancient, um, you know, ancient doesn't last. It's got to be 
looked after, isn't it? It's got to be uh, repaired. None of this has been done. In the 17 years I've been here, none of this has been done. The gentleman from the Road Haulage Association was there on Monday and he was making the point that anybody who drives up the N25 or quite a lot sees the words Operation Stack, meaning lorries have got to stack themselves somewhere yeah. here yeah. near Kent, near mm -hmm. Essex. But, and so he's saying the, the volume will, will continue. I mean, how, how long can you put up? We can't. We can't. Because, <coughs> excuse me, uh, um, <coughs> as, uh, uh, in my uh, statement to um, Thames Gateway, and Charles was very aware of this, Charles Curtis. All the councillors were very aware of this, um, that I have only got a quarter of lung function left. And I'm struggling. <coughs> I'm not saying it is solely um, the lorries, but I need air. I need to be able to breathe, you know, something. Um, but with the cons, I just cannot do it. it my whole well-being, you know, I, if I need to be in bed to rest, which is quite often I get a lot of pneumonia, etc. What have I got? Lois constantly, you know, going past. It's, it's, we can't do it. It's not just me, it's the residents. Um, even by the traffic lights at the top of um, Stifford Road, they, they are in despair. We have been round, we have spoken to them. The councillors haven't. You know, they are really in despair. Please do something. Good luck. I hope you win. You know, I, I don't think they're aware that their councillors have opposed them. It's for me, the newspaper, whoever can, to let them know that uh, they haven't done their job right by their residents.